Hey everyone, this is Oregon Pete, and welcome to this fourth installment of For the Love of Babette, Dialogue and Gameplay. Now, in the previous installment, Babette and the Dragonborn went to Hag's End to get a keystone. It turned out that the keystone transported them to a pocket of oblivion where they met Lucien Lachance, the old Dark Brotherhood assassin. And Lucien was the one who finally was able to grant Babette's wish and allow her to have a restored Dawn Star Sanctuary. And that is the first part we'll be looking at, their arrival back at the sanctuary to see what Babette thinks about it. So let's get going. Sorry, but I just have to see what this place looks like now. Try to keep up. Okay, this is so much better. Now I can finally burn my poisons again. Um, I mean potions, of course. Oh, and the mod I'm using here that makes the Sanctuary look so nice is the Dark Brotherhood Reborn, Dawnstar Sanctuary SSE. Oh, wow, my own bed! This is so great! A bedroom for guests. That could come in handy. Another bedroom, and a really nice one too. I guess that's for you. But what do you need a double bed for? Hmm, Lucien, I hope you weren't thinking what I think you were thinking. And don't you get any strange ideas. Remember, I have fangs, and I'm not afraid to use them. Oh, right. Should have realized there wouldn't be a torture chamber. I guess Lucian knew someone like the Dragonborn wouldn't want that. Or is he trying to tell me something? But it does look nice, real cozy. This place is so amazing. And it really feels like a home now. I know it doesn't bring back Astrid, Gabriel, and the others, but you really helped me. Thank you. You looking to buy some potions? Or maybe I could help train you to make your own. I'm glad you're happy with your new home. Will you be okay on your own? In the past 300 years, I've had to be on my own quite often. So, yes, I'll be alright. But to be honest, and despite everything you did to my friends, I really enjoyed your company. So I'd like to ask a favor of you. Okay, ask away and I'll see what I can do. Would you allow me to accompany you for a while longer? Accompany me? The way you talked, I thought you hated me. No, no, I really don't hate you. It's just that life can sometimes get so awfully boring when you live for centuries, so I guess I've become a bit sarcastic. You keep me entertained, and I do enjoy teasing people. Please, don't take it personally. Okay, I won't, but Babette, I don't know if this is such a good idea. Please, I promise I'll behave. Well, at least I'll try. 
Besides, you have that big, beautiful bedroom here in the sanctuary, and it would be a shame if it didn't get used. Please? So, now you're asking me to move in with you? I, um, but, no, I mean... Not fair, Dragonborn. Now you've got me all confused. Heh, <laughs> now you know what it feels like. Okay, I guess I deserve that. But what I meant was, um... I know what you meant, that we could use this place as a base of operations. Yes, that's, um, that's what I meant. It seems I really got you flustered. Sorry about that. Yeah, strange. That's never happened to me before. At least not like that. I have no idea what's wrong with me. Do you want to talk about it? No, I really don't. So can we please just drop it? Sure. Thought about that favor. Please, would you at least think about it? Actually, I don't need to think about it. You don't? Okay, what have you decided? Can I come with you? Sure, you can tag along with me for a while. Oh, thank you so much. This is going to be so great. Where will we go first? So the next morning, the Dragonborn takes Babette with him, and the first place they want to visit is Winterhold. This also isn't going to be the Winterhold you remember, it's the Great City of Winterhold version 4. Probably not, but it's worth a try. Feralda, a destruction master who teaches at the College of Winterhold, has kindly consented to allow us onto the grounds. Of course, the prerequisite is that the Dragonborn becomes a student at the college and checks in with Mirabel Arvine for a preliminary overview. From up here, we can get a really good view of the city. And down there you see the ruins that remained after the town was destroyed. Now this also isn't the vanilla version of the College of Winterhold, it's Obscure's mod, Obscure's College of Winterhold with five towers instead of three. Very cool mod by the way. I believe I've made myself rather clear. So this is Mirabelle yes, who will course. give us a quick tour I'm of the college. I'm trying to understand the reason behind Our newest members are housed here, in the Hall of Attainment. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside, as others may be working on research or... delicate experiments. Now I'll show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. This is where you'll be staying. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study sessions. So that was the tour. Now it's time for our first lesson. Welcome. We were just beginning. Please, stay and listen. 
Of course, Tolftir chooses the Dragonborn to give everyone a quick lesson in the use of magical there, words. Please. Just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Hold still. Excellent work. Well, I think this is an excellent start. I'd like you all to continue. After the lesson, we decide to continue our journey with another beautiful view of the city. As you probably all know, Winterhold used to be a major city with a very significant port. But that sadly is a thing of the past. That down there is what's left of Winterhold's port. Very sad. So now we're leaving Winterhold and we'll continue in the direction of Windhelm. This little hamlet associated with the Whistling Mine is one of the landmarks we pass on our way to Windhelm. Another landmark is Snowvale Sanctum, which most of you will know from the notorious Thieves' Guild quest. And we finally arrive in Windhelm. A major city in Skyrim, which took over as the major port after Winterhold was destroyed. Sadly, Windhelm isn't just known for its port, it's also known for its racism. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Oh. Isn't that just wonderful? Fortunately, Windhelm also has a few nice things. For instance, it has the only temple of Talos in all of Skyrim. Then, of course, there's the Palace of Kings. and Candlehearth Hall there on your left. In the evening, we decided we needed to find a place to stay, and just outside of Windhelm, we stumbled upon this beautiful house called Divay's Cottage, which just happened to be for sale, so we bought it. Now, Diveth College is a beautiful player home that I can really recommend. On the ground floor, there's the dining hall and an extra bedroom that can either be used as a child's room or for a follower. Upstairs, you've got the master bedroom and a second bedroom that can also be used either for two children or for two followers. In the basement, we have a kitchen area. 
a kind of sitting room, a bath area, another bedroom for followers, and all the crafting stations a heart could desire. Man, that bath area sure is pretty. Well, I'm not going to draw this out and torture you guys, so after spending a few days with Babette, this happened. It's been quite a boon, looking like a child. No one ever suspects a thing. You know, that's getting a bit old. Who are you trying to convince? Um, what do you mean? I mean, is it really such a boon, looking like a child? Um, I don't know what to say. Just be honest with yourself. I always thought I was. But you're right, it's all so confusing, and I have no idea how I feel about it anymore. Well, what do you want? I don't. No, I won't lay to myself anymore, because I know exactly what I want. You know, for centuries, I've had to watch couples doing all the things couples do. And I'm not just talking about having sex. Just things like flirting, falling in love, baking out, getting married, or even having children. And I'm so frustrated because I can never experience any of it myself. Do you have any idea what that's like? No, it's not a bone looking like a shell. It's a fucking curse. I'm really sorry, Babette. Is there anything I can do? I don't know. Maybe. I've been thinking a lot about what Akara and Lucian said. And I think I finally understand. The only way I'll ever be able to experience anything even again to romance is if I can. Well, if I can grow up. Is that even possible? I think it might be, yes. There's an artifact of great power called the Stun of Desire, and it's said to give you, well, your heart's desire. I'm pretty sure that's what Lucian and Akari were talking about. But I'd need your help to get it. So I guess everything they said about me helping you is coming true. It looks like it. I know this is a huge favor to ask, but would you help me again? Maybe. Is it very dangerous? I'm pretty sure it is. The last person I know who tried to get the stone was an old friend and mentor of mine. Her name was Persephone. She was the very first vampire friend I ever had, and she helped me out a lot right after I was turned. We were even together in the sanctuary and she had ill for a while. But about a hundred years ago, she decided to go after the stone. What happened to her? I don't know, because nobody ever heard from her again. Hmm, well I suppose I still owe you, so I guess I'm obliged to help you out. Look, you've already been more than helpful, and I won't put that kind of burden on you. But I would certainly appreciate it if you would do me this one last favor. Would you help me get the Stone of Desire, please? Although, I would certainly understand if you didn't want to. No, it's all right. I'll help you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You can't believe what this means to me. So, what do we do now? I know there are supposed to be three trials involved, but I have no idea what they are or how to get there. I do, however, know someone who might be able to help us. Let me guess. Akari? Exactly. Well then, I guess we better go find her. I'll never forget you for this. So the next morning, Babette and the Dragonborn set out for Riften. Well folks, we've reached the end of this installment. Thank you for watching part four of For the Love of Babette dialogue and gameplay. Please join us again soon for part 5. Until then, this is Oregon Pete, signing off.